Cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. A Pinellas County couple paid $24,000 for an SUV through a private sale in May. Now, they paid through a wire transfer, but the money never made it to the seller. And more than six weeks later, the money had not made it back to them either. And that's when they knew that Better Call Bacon and Shannon is getting results for them tonight. Jane Keith, this couple ended up paying for this SUV twice, and they tell me they were getting the runaround about getting their $24,000 back. For more than six weeks, Steve Haynes and his wife tell me they've pleaded with Chase Bank to return their $24,000, money that was supposed to go to the private seller of this Range Rover. Instead, the money got stuck in another account after the wire transfer went wrong. They won't talk to me because I'm not a uh, banking bank uh, customer and they won't they won't return none of my phone calls either i went to the bank in person actually and try to talk to my in person and they won't talk to me either they told me to get out of their bank very rude and your bank is wells fargo wells fargo what yes. does wells fargo tell you wells fargo has sent uh money trace request mm -hmm. and recall requests for my money and they have not uh replied to wells fargo either Haynes and his wife went to a Chase Bank branch May 26 because it was the bank of the woman they bought the car from. They tell me they were given a wire transfer number and then called their bank, Wells Fargo, to initiate the transfer. They say it was 10 days later that they learned the account number they were told to send the money to was the wrong account. Since then, they tell me it's been under investigation. Chase Bank knows where it's at. They just, for some reason or another, do not want to cooperate right now. So Steve knew he'd better call Binkin so I can do what I do. I reached out to Chase and days later, Chase tells me the money will be returned. It's ironic that once you took the case up, they all of a sudden found $24,000. I do nothing but thank you one million times over for doing this story and, and getting my money back. A spokesperson for Chase Bank tells me it could take one to two business days for Steve to see the money post to his account, and you know I will follow up to make sure that it does. Those numbers are so important. I mean, you get one and a whole thing goes wrong, but did the Chase provide any more details about what, kind of what went wrong here? Well, yes, they did. Chase was able to verify what I told them that Steve had told me, and that's that the money had been sent to one of the seller's accounts, but to an account for a car loan, and that account did not accept wire transfers. Steve had been given the wrong account number, but it was a mistake that shouldn't have taken this long to fix. Yeah, six weeks plus. All right, you resolved it. Thank you, Shannon. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Benkin, the telephone number 1855 Benkin, or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.